Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Lumen and Tarot. So everybody, I am here to do um, just a random collective love update, okay? This reading is for the collective. It's not going to resonate with all of you. So just take what does resonate, leave what doesn't, right? And thank you to everyone for all of your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything. Everybody's been fantastic and wonderful to me. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all of your support. Um, and if you like this video, please go ahead, click that like button and subscribe to the channel. We're all growing here together, you know. Okay, so let's jump right in. Um, person watching, I feel like you have made some major accomplishments here, okay? And, and you are victorious in this. Um, yeah, what was this one? Okay, so I feel like you've been dragged through the dirt, the mud, uh, the gravel in this last cycle. I do feel like this is not just an Empress card to me and a Divine Feminine card, but this is also the World card in this deck. What I'm seeing is you passing through a portal here into a new cycle. Um, and leveling up in, in Empress energy, okay? Letting the, the stuff from the past cycle fall and holding up your hand to protect yourself from, you know, anything that, you know, wants to follow you through into the new cycle. Um, you're really kind of like standing your ground here in your boundaries. No, no, certain people just can't come with, right? Um, and you're letting... Uh, I feel like this is unrequited love. It could be, um, it could be multiple people that you're having to say goodbye to as you go into the new cycle, okay? Um, where you're already feeling proud. I feel like you, you're feeling very victorious here. Um, huge accomplishments here. You've had to do your healing. Uh, now, you're being led by the divine. So you and the divine, that's it. Otherwise, it's just been you doing all of this work. You've, you've been making major accomplishments on your own. Healing, working on you, working on um, your stability. Uh, you could even be a business owner, a boss here, um, working your way up um, financially. Uh, you've just really bossed up. You're very spiritual, you know. I've got you out here with high priestess energy as well. You, you could even have a podium here um, in tarot land, you know. Being as intuitive as you are, as accomplished, victorious, masterful in whatever it is that you're doing. So whatever it is that you're doing, you're really, really good at it. Um, very, very skilled. And I feel like it has a lot to do with... Um, like maybe you're a spiritual healer um, or a spiritual teacher here. But yeah, this is some kind of spiritual journey that's, that's leading to you to great accomplishments, having a victory, being very masterful in whatever you're doing. And you're, I feel like you could be doing this in the public eye because your person just nonstop is watching you, man. They're nonstop watching you, and I kind of feel like this is a computer or a TV. So I'm thinking you're reaching a lot of people here. Or this could be stuff just that you're posting on your social media, right? But whatever it is, I feel like you're, you're pumped. You're very um, high vibing. Look at the vibes off of you. Look at how beautiful your energy is, okay? So, you know, and you're very intuitive, the most intuitive person in the whole entire deck here. So whenever somebody's watching you, and I feel like this is your person, your high vibes, they're absorbing a lot of this, okay? This is their happy time, is when they get to watch you. Look at how this cat is smiling. They love watching you, and I feel like this person's proud of you too. But really, I'm seeing you ha being having a victory, being victorious, and very skilled in whatever it is that you're doing. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're very, very good at it. Um, and people are noticing. I feel like you are in the public eye here somehow. 
Um, yeah, I feel like your person though, they're, they're, they had maybe some high, this is like a celebration gone bad, okay? I don't feel like this is your energy besides maybe stuff from the past and you're holding your hand up against it. You're like, I don't want any mess or drama from the last cycle to, to um, follow me into this new cycle because I feel like you have an understanding on how karma works, how manifesting works. Like I said, I, I feel a, a very strong very masterful spiritual journey here okay taking a leap of faith this takes a lot of faith but honestly I feel like with what this person is seeing with what your person is watching you do how they're watching you glow like seriously glow I think they're fascinated I think they're amazed by your leaps and bounds your accomplishments how awesome you are and what you do um, and it's making them feel like a fool, okay? It's making this person feel like a fool now. Um, I feel like they, they want to take a leap of faith towards you. I really feel like this person really wants to come towards you. They're, this is very dreamy energy here. They're feeling so unfulfilled in this situation. Here you are getting getting a victory, having huge accomplishments, being masterful. It says it all right here. Um, highly intuitive, uh, in high priestess energy, that's high, right? Um, that's high ranking. And, it, you're, and you've really worked for it. You put in this effort. And it's very clear that you're being guided by by spirit, okay? Um, and your person's just there's a hole where their heart used to be. They're they're unable to feel anything. They're really down in the dumps. This is um, depression, feeling unfulfilled, no zest for life. And here you're out here like, da 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 da, you know, like having a freaking party. Um, I feel like you could be celebrating a lot of these accomplishments too. Some of you could even be taking a trip, but I really feel like you're just, um, you may be wanting to grow and expand. I'm feeling like you may even be wanting um, some instruction, like to go back to school, maybe take more classes, sharpen your skills. I don't know. But um, yeah, your person, they're, they're not doing well watching you do wonderful they're not doing well they're feeling like a fool um it says relieved here it says reassured soothed and at ease okay this is how they would like to feel <laughs> okay they don't feel that way now i feel like this person wants to come forward but they're very guarded here um they may not feel like it's completely safe to come towards you. They're really hoping that you will um, let them approach and ex accept an approach. Um, they're going to try to be as kind and as gentle as they can here, maybe even helpful. Um, they could even be feeling like, geez, I'd be really relieved if if my person uh, needed me for something or needed my help or something, then maybe I could come towards them easier. They're not having an easy time coming towards you. So they're kind of just hoping and praying here um, that you're going to be open to it. You know what I mean? That things will go well, that they'll be able to get close here possibly have another chance. They definitely want to take this leap of faith. They're pl uh, planning, plotting, strategizing, I think. Taking a look back now again at this um, decision that they made. I, I feel like they made a decision to go towards someone else and now they're feeling like a fool. Yeah, I feel like this person, um, they want to, in emperor energy, um, this is somebody who wants to take control, okay? They want control over the situation. This is someone who makes difficult decisions. And I, feeling, I feel like they're making a difficult decision about whatever 
um, commitment that they're in right now. I feel like they're making some kind of judgment call here and it's time for this person. This is the divine saying, it's time to do this, man. It's time for anything that was done in the dark is coming to light. Any secrets have to come out. It's time. You know, it's time to make a call on this. So um, I feel like your person could already be in a commitment here. And they want to make an offer to you. But yeah, they have, it. they have to communicate their truth. This person has been procrastinating on making a decision. Speaking their truth, cutting something out. This is procrastination here. I feel like they need to speak the truth to two individuals. Not just one. But they want to come towards you and have a conversation. Okay? Um... Yeah, they want to talk. Here they come. They want to talk. This is bringing in clarity. This is um, this is balancing the scales. This could also be a divorce. All right. Um, you could be dealing with the Libra, an Earth sign, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Aries. Yeah, this person, I feel like they're already committed here. Yeah, but and that's coming to an end. I feel like this person's going to have a communication here, a communication, and cut something out. Finally, not procrastinating anymore on um, this decision and this communication, that they, this truth, they need to speak their truth, right? So I feel like they're going to end things here. This Queen of Pentacles does look very sad to me. I feel like um, this Queen of Pentacles gonna, is going to be very sad. Whoever they're ending this commitment with, because look at how their hand is like dropping off of this pentacle, and they're looking down. They, they just, I feel like maybe um, they, they may even be worried about their stability after this. But yeah, that situation's coming to an end. And this person, I feel like they want to approach you. They want to try to bring some stability. Try to, this is beginning stage communication, right? Smooth things over like, um, yeah, um, how you doing? Uh, I really just thought maybe we could talk for a minute. Maybe, um, maybe we can just start off as friends, get to, I don't know. This is, I feel like this is someone coming in just with very gentle, approaching you very gently, um, wanting that couple love, wanting to start over, wanting a new beginning here, seeing you as the, as the empress, an intuitive, um, someone very powerful, someone very masterful, someone having a victory, someone you're happy here, very happy, single, and beautiful, single and beautiful, okay? Not speaking. This person, they you're not talking to them. You are not making an approach. Your person is making a very slow approach. Slow, gentle, cautious. All right, because they want this love back. This is a soulmate connection here. Um, yeah, this person is going to be reaching out your wish fulfillment for this person Whatever they had going on over here, whatever commitment they had um, They they've made a very difficult decision Okay, and I feel like it's firm That situation is coming to an end your person made a judgment call it's ending and now they're coming forward towards you because you are their wish. You're their wish. Yeah. All right. What else can you show me, Divine? Yeah, they see. They Yeah, look at that. Victorious. They want to have a victory with you. Um, they see your accomplishments here. They're ending something here with someone. I feel like they're, they're going to be speaking their truth, cutting something out. Ending it here with this Queen of Pentacles. 
ending it like an emperor, making that difficult decision. And this Queen of Pentacles here is going to be very sad. I feel very, very sad. Yeah, but I, you know, you're moving forward as your person plots, plans, strategizes, maybe even tries to find a way to sneak back forward to you, okay? After a long period of procrastination and stagnation and a decision that they had to make, right? Here's that two of swords right there. That's what they're looking back at. They need to talk. They need to make a decision. But I feel like this is them planning, plotting, strategizing, because you've turned the other cheek here. This is your energy person watching. You're going after what you want. You're going after your happiness. You know, and you're getting it. You've, all, you've, you've been going after what you want with the passion this whole entire time. Because you've had to put in a lot of effort to get into this kind of energy here. And it's going to be paying off now. This is someone here in this energy. You're not wasting your time and you're not going to allow anyone to play games with you. When this person comes through, if there's not something solid that they're offering you and, uh, you know, solid, it better be solid because you're not wasting your time. Okay, feel like this person is planning. They know you're leaving the scene. You're taking your energy out of here. You're entering into a new cycle. You're tossing away um, unrequited love and maybe even several other like friendships. It could be friends, ex, ex partners, whoever from the past that has to stay in the past. You know, I feel like this person may have run out of time to come and talk to you because you're healed from this. You're healed. You're in beautiful energy. You're sexy. You're driven. You're cool. You're very, very cool. You're very relaxed. You're just driven and working on yourself. You know, I feel like you're manifesting new things. But I, I feel like just, you know, just as this card tells about healing, it also says that you're a star in this person's eye. You're this person's twinkle in their eye, man. Without you, they don't have any fulfillment. Without you, they don't have any fulfillment here. And they constantly watch you. So they're happy when they're watching you, and they feel like this when they're not. You're this person's wish. You could be dealing with an Aquarius here, an air sign, water sign. They want to come in and tell you how they feel about you now. They want to take you to calmer waters. They want to get this to a calmer spot. You know, this is definitely a person from your past uh, that offered you this couple love before. And, um, and then they turn their back on it. They turn their back on this gift. Now they're coming back in with that cup. They're like, here, knock, knock. I've got this cup again. Can, can I, can, can, look, this is you guys all growed up. Yeah. They want that love back. This person wants this love back. They know they chose poorly. You are their wish. You, you're, you're the whole, you're, you're the full package. You're the entire package here. And you're leaving the scene because they did, they weren't doing anything. They were in complete and utter procrastination. And you're taking your love somewhere else now. It, your person feels heartbroken. This was a third party situation. I feel they chose someone else over you. And now they're very quickly realizing they don't want that person anymore. Now they want you. I, you know, it could be about your accomplishments, but honestly, I don't see, I don't see them wanting any money. I see this person wanting, wanting this kind of energy, your high vibes, right? I see them not happy unless they're watching you. They're not happy unless they're watching you. As a matter of fact, your person's heartbroken. They're heartbroken. 
you know, because at one point you were really loving, very open, very tender, very gentle, very caring to this person, okay? You could have kids with this person. You could have known this person for years and years and years. They could be a bit older than you. But yeah, at one point you gave your love. It was just such an innocent love is what I'm feeling like you had nothing but good intentions for this person. Like you really cared about this person, you know? And it was, you know, it was very um, innocent. And they stuck that knife into this sword in your back straight through your heart. You had to, heal and abandoned you, I feel. They abandoned you there to heal on your own. To heal on your own and now you're like in the Queen of Swords energy where you just don't want to get hurt anymore you you want the truth you want the whole truth nothing but the truth or you're gonna cut them out of your world without batting an eyelash like compared to like in their mind compared to how you were before they stuck you with the sword you're you're much more get to the point yeah, yeah. Get to the point, the point of this sword, right? Because you're all healed. You're healed. They're heartbroken. You're healed, they're heartbroken. Yeah. And now they want this new beginning. It's coming, I'm telling you. This person's coming in. They want this new beginning with you. They, they want to... They want to try to get things calmer, more peaceful between you. Okay? But yeah, they're feeling like a fool. They're coming in and, and to communicate, right? And this person, uh, they're not, they're unfulfilled unless they're watching you. No kidding. All right, person watching, listen, that's what I got for this reading. Really awesome energy. They're ending something over here. Death could be dealing with the Scorpio too. Um, ending this over here, this commitment that they have going on, someone's going to be very sad, um, and they're coming directly towards you. Now remember though, they need to do some healing just like you needed to, needed to do some healing. You did the work on you, now they need to do some work too. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, I feel like, oh my... This could very well be a twin flame soulmate connection. Look, a new beginning. This is a new beginning being handed by the divine because of the love you had to offer this person. Communication's coming in, I'm telling you. The divine here now, the spirit is trying to bring you guys together. You're taking your lead from the divine and your person's only focused on you. And here it comes. Yeah, that's beautiful. All right, guys, listen, that's what I've got for you for this reading, okay? Um, uh, if you like this video, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow. Um, this is gorgeous energy. We've got a new beginning. I'm going to stop it here because it's beautiful. And honestly, I feel like it's all going to depend on this communication and the approach. Your person is really hoping that uh, you'll allow an approach, okay? So anyway, yeah, I hope this helps. I'm excited for you guys, this is gorgeous. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.